Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Jeff, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm going to show you more of a, like a meme tank build um, that we can do actually in the pre-patch now. Uh, we could, we did, uh, we were able to play in all specs in Lich King, but in uh, Cataclysm we need actually, we like we need the improved blood presence to not, not be crit immune, but if you have the gear, like if you have decent gear, um, at least like when you're farming up the justice points right now, I feel like this is the way to go because you're gonna keep aggro and you're gonna just make more AOE damage. And all the runs that I've done so far, as you can see over there, like uh, I'm doing so much damage. I'm like sec uh, second place, sometimes first place in the damage as a tank. So we're gonna be a frost dk tank and i'm gonna go over some play styles and the well not play styles but like the the way that you can play this so let's just start with the actual build so first the ice reach and well you can see the the thing here but the most important thing here is the like you can go with either uh like playing a dual wield uh, there we go. You can choose to play either dual wield or two-handed. But if you're gonna do a two-handed, then then this one like is no need to use it uh, because it's gonna be worthless. So if you're gonna play a two-hander, you switch this one to the runic power, and at the bottom you switch the threat from um, Tharasarian to the might of the frozen wastes. That's pretty much the difference if you're gonna play a two-handed. And yeah, you see the, the spec over here, uh, obviously you go with bladed armor just for the extra uh, attack based on your armor. And we're also gonna pick this one that increases the damage done of your diseases. Because in this build, it's so easy, it's incredibly easy to spread, to actually spread the, uh, the diseases and you're gonna make you're gonna do so much damage and you they're so there you barely need any keybinds at all so let me show you a macro that you can use so it's this one uh, i call it frost spread but it's a sequence macro and i gotta put it in the description below but first of all when you cast it you cast howling blast and howling blast with uh, uh, let me see here uh, Howling Blast, um, it, uh, you hit all the targets within a 10 yard and it says infects all targets with Frost Fever and that's because I have the rune that is called, no, not the Glyph, the Glyph I mean the Glyph, glyph of Howling, Bla Ho Howling Blast. Your Howling Blast ability now infects your targets with the Frost Fever and I also got the icy touch which is gonna increase the frost fever with 20% and also I got the obliterate because in this build we're gonna play pure damage you can change the obliterate to death strike if you want to but it's gonna be a bit wonky because some of the abilities here like the killing machine sure you, you can use you can get the proc from frost strike but you also got this one which is your uh, obliterate has a 45 percent chance to cause your next howling blast or icy touch to consume no runes so basically whenever you can cast the howling blast i do that in order like i hope that i get the proc because after that i use howling blast which is a aoe and in this spec, I don't use Death and Decay. I don't use Blood Boil. And if you you in the summaries, it says Blood of the North, permanently transform your blood runes into death runes. Death runes counts as blood, frost, or unholy runes. So this way, the also the Howling Blasts, Howling Blast uh, uses only one frost rune. So you're gonna be AOEing a lot in this build. And if you actually like get the 
because they, I think that yeah, they changed this in the in Lich King. Uh, this uh, the killing machine is a bit changed now, but in the Lich King, this one was actually the killing machine when it procked. You could actually use it on Halloween Blast as well, so that was very fun. And then you got the Hungry and Cold, which is very nice to have because um, let me just put it out. Um, for some reason, it got removed. But basically, you're. I usually like. Um, yeah, like you, you can freeze uh, everyone if you want to. You don't really need it, but yeah, it's there, and you have to pick it in order to pick the Halloween blast. And I had it. Um. <clears throat> But with this build also, you're increasing the attack speed in attack speed and the in both melee and ranged in your party. And yeah, and your own attack speed with 40 with five additional percent. So technically you have a 15%, right? Yeah, and it's this one and it's also uh yeah, so it's 15. And then if you're playing dual wield with this one as well, is uh, while dual wielding your your death strike, obliterate, plague strike, rune strike, blood strike, and frost strike, have a hundred percent chance to also deal deal damage of your offhand weapon. So that's very nice. And you also want the rune of razor eyes that you can use from the rune forging for us death knights and you want to have it on in the main hand because to my understanding the main hand is the one that you're actually gonna hit more frequently with and the razor eyes is is gonna increase like it's a stacking buff and uh, that's gonna make our frost damage uh, take even more damage and then you want the Falling Crusader on the other one, which is going to heal us and give us 15% strength for 15 seconds. If you want to, you could probably change it to Nerubian uh, Carapace if you want to some more, some more uh, survival. But yeah, the, the, the way that you play it, uh, personally, I have the Keybind uh, up. No, okay, the keybind down is my Howling Blast on scroll down. And the scroll up is going to be my Frost Strike. And with the, if, if this is the pack, then I use my, the first the spread macro. So if this is the pack and I got to run in, the first thing that it's going to do is cost, uh, cast whole Howling Blast. So I'm hitting at everything. After that is uh, Plague Strike, Pestilence, and then I'm done. And then I just scroll up and down, up and down, up and down. And whenever I can actually use the, whenever I can use obliterate, I do that. But like most of the time, they, they're going to die so fast anyway. That, yeah, just try to use it. And the, the build, like as you can see, maybe you have missed everything I've shown. <laughs> I don't actually think so. I think that you 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 most likely uh, have seen it. I forgot about that thing. <laughs> Let me show you the macro again. This is the spreading macro. I'm gonna put it in the description below. And also, yeah, it's just super simple to to play this. And you're gonna keep aggro like crazy. Keep in mind to be in the blood presence if you want to tank in this pack. But yeah, and usually I use the pol a pillar of frost. This one, which is gonna increase our strength by 20%. Whenever there's like a big pack, and I just use it on cooldown every single time. But yeah, that's just a way that you can play it. And these are the runes, if you missed it. But as you can see um, in the video, we cleared this very, very fast. And yeah, I'm I'm very satisfied with it, with this build, and I'm rushing through the 
the dungeons because I need to max out my justice point for Cataclysm. But yeah, if you click on this video over here, I'm gonna make a. Uh, I'm gonna explain why this DK is gonna be my main and why it's gonna be the, like the ultimate farming class for me in Cataclysm. And before you before you click this video, make sure to subscribe and like this video if it helped you. If it didn't, I hope that you already know about this. And click this, and I'll see you there. Pork pork.